I'm Patrick Bailey from whiteboardcoder.com. Today is March 5th, 2015. It looks like Microsoft just recently had another update to their Windows 7 and they broke one of my regedit fixes again. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I altered my regedit so that when I um, open a file in Excel, it actually opens it in a new window rather than having them both in the same program. Well, and now since it, since it's broken, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if I open an Excel document, and I'll put this guy in here, and I'll put this one in here. What happens is they're both actually in this window, which is annoying. I'd rather have two different Excel windows. I don't like it. It's, when you see this, the other one gets hidden, and it's just, I don't like working like this. It annoys the crud out of me. You can fix that with a few tweaks of your regedit. I fixed this before, but Often when there's a Windows update, it breaks my fixes. So I'm going to have to go fix it again. But this time I'm going to record it, so next time I can just go look at this video myself and fix it quicker. I'll close Excel here. What you need to do is go here and type in regedit. You should see your regedit.exe. Click on that to open it. Now what you do is you can scroll all the way down here. My, I've already been in here before, and you get down to the Excel parts. Now what you have to look at, it kind of covers different Excel type of files. So there's a CSV, there's an Excel spreadsheet 12, an 8, and a 5. Now typically I'm only using 8, 12, or CSV files. Those are, those are the only ones I tweak. So let me open those up real quick. So what you need to do, let's do the Excel 12 first. What you need to do is you go down here and you click on, let's see, you open the shell. And then click on open. And you probably won't have this. I have a bunch of these old commands that I keep saving for no good reason. But what you need to do is you go in here to the, the, D, to the DDEEXEX file, uh, right click and rename it. I just do this to get it out of the way, but it kind of keeps it there. I should probably just go wipe these guys out. And then I click on the command itself. And the same thing, I keep renaming these and keeping them for some reason. Uh, so I go, I modify this. Oh, wait. I rename it, effectively removing it. And then you go here and click on the default and click modify. And what you need to change is you have slash dd, uh, let's see, I believe it's slash e percentage one. And that should do it. Okay, so then you click OK. And so now when you're opening, um, so now for Excel sheet type 12, those are your XLS X types. And you can see the file extension here, XLSX. Now, if I did that right, if I open this, it should open fine. Let me scooch that to one side of the screen. Now, if I click on this guy, ah, there we go, perfect. So, that fixed it. So now they're open in two different uh, instances of Excel, which is exactly what I want. But now, to cover your bases, you actually need to do the same thing to uh, Excel. You need to do the same thing with any other type of file you're going to open in Excel. So what I do is I go and I tweak Excel Sheet 8, click on Shell, uh, click on Open, right click on this and rename it to something. Just gets it out of the way. Click on Command, Right click on this command, rename it, give it a new name just so it's out of the way. Right click on default, select modify, change this to E, double quotes, percentage one, double quotes, OK. So now if you don't open an XLSX file, it should work just fine. It should do the same thing, open a different instance. So now if I go to, the other one I want to deal with is uh, CSV files. I, op I, opened, I happen to open CSV files a lot. So right, same thing. 
uh, excel.csv shell open right click rename open command right click on command rename which just effectively gets out of the way right click on here modify change it to E double quote percentage one double quote and click OK and that's it no need to restart you should be done so as an example if I open this and I do a save as I'll save it as a CSV on the desktop yeah 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 and there it is and I'll also save it as let's see not that guy a XLS there you go 97 to 2003 workbook save it so there's that guy and that one I'll do the same thing for two just so it's obvious save it as a 97 to 2003 and save it as a CSV okay so now that I've got all my different file types I'll just go through and make sure they work so first XLSX I open that guy there we go open another one and they open in separate windows perfect uh, XLS open that one open that one and they open in different windows perfect CSV CSV they open in different windows perfect so that's how you fix the regedit so that you can open so that when you open an Excel sheet it actually opens in a new window by itself. Hope that helps you. I know it will help me next time this happens.